Hello and welcome to the May 2022 review of the Polestar 2 real world range and efficiency numbers. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, please click on that uh, subscribe button and the notification icon so that you are informed when new videos are released monthly. And while, you, while you're there, please click on the like button. So let's take a look where we are. Uh, looking at the progress for May 2022, we had another good month with 233 submissions. And here we are rapidly approaching 250,000 kilometers in the database. And that's equivalent of 153,000 miles. And altogether we have 2,660 trips logged in the system. So let's take a look at the top contributors for May. So here you can see who came top of the list with 39 trips. It's Wes Wambara. Hope I've said that correctly. With a distance of 857 miles or 1,379 kilometers. Second on the list, Polestar Warrior. Here you will see the top contributors of all times up until the 31st of May 2022. And if you are in the top 18 of most submitted trips, your name should be appearing on the screen. Thanks for everyone who has submitted trips into the system. Without you, we would not be able to review these numbers and see what the real world range is. Uh, this month I've added two new um, pages in the report the first one is the most efficient trips over three miles and here you can see uh, the top of the list is Ottima who had one trip which came out the equivalent of five miles per kilowatt hour which is an excellent uh, efficiency um, my name is second on the list there with one trip that I did of 4.62 miles per kilowatt hour and Wes is coming third with 4.28 miles per kilowatt hour. I've set the criteria to over three miles because um, some of the shorter trips less than three miles come up with um, with odd numbers especially if you go and the road is downhill all the way to where you're going. In one mile you'll get to quite a, a lot of efficiency but it doesn't take into account the return trip which would be uphill so that's why I made it for trips that are over three miles the second new page on here is the longest single trips in May and here we can see Kenneth Westergaard did one trip of 183 miles um, someone who didn't enter the name in in the form did a trip of 156 miles and third on the list Asmund uh, with a trip of 145 miles so just something new for you to look at see if it's of interest um, if these new reports are of any interest or if you have any suggestions for what data you'd like to see on the pages put your um, thoughts in the comments below and I'll see if I can include those into the normal report. So moving on to consumption, uh, we can see that in May uh, the total consumption for long-range dual motor has indeed dipped below the magic 30 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 miles. So here you can see 29.4 or 18.2 uh, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers and that's based off 131 trips. Now if we compare that to May 21, uh, which is here, you can see in May 21 the number was 30.4. So we've actually gone down one whole kilo kilowatt hour per 100 miles. So good progress. Why are we seeing this, um, this decrease compared to last year? Could it be software related? Could it be the weather is warmer? We'll take a look at the weather in a second and see if that's 
had any effect on this. If we look at the long range single motor, unfortunately there was no submissions in May 2022, so no update there. And looking at the standard range single motor, we see here we only have two trips and the consumption seems a bit high, so I suspect that uh, there was either an issue with submitting that trip or uh, it was a, a long uphill journey. Here are the same numbers again in miles or kilometers per kilowatt hour. And here you can see that uh, in May 22, we are 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour compared to May 21, which was 3.33 miles per kilowatt hour. And the same in kilometers per kilowatt hour is 5.7 compared to 5.3 in the same month last year. This is for the long range dual motor. Here we have the range breakdown by model. Long range dual motor is showing 265 miles range or 427 kilometers, up from 401 kilometers last month. Here we have the model comparison for all the data in the system. So here you see long range dual motor has got two, 2,297 trips submitted. Long range single motor 338 and standard range single motor 25 trips. And here you can see on one page compare the difference between distance range kilowatt hours per 100 miles or kilometers and then miles per kilowatt hour. The blue box numbers are all miles and the peach colored boxes are all kilometers. So this page should give you easily comparison. So long range dual motor is going at 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour across all of the data in the system. Whereas long range single motor is going at 3.1 and standard range single motor is going at 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. So it's just there for comparison. And then I've added another page here, which shows you the model comparison just for the latest month. So this would be May 2022. And there you can see 3.5 for long range dual motor and 2.5 for the two trips in the standard range single motor. I referred earlier to the temperature and wondered whether that had an effect on the increased range in May 2022 compared to last year. And if you have a look here, the green section is temperature in Celsius. May 21, the average temperature was 14 degrees. And in May 22, the average is 18 degrees. So the temperature did go up by 4 degrees, which could be the reason for the increased range in May. Don't forget, at the end of the report on the website, you will find a, a page for each country where people have submitted their trip. So you can go and compare the range that you are getting to the range that other people in your country are getting. And you will see, if you just flick through the different pages, you will see all of the submissions and the range for your country. That's it for this uh, short update for May 2022. Again, if you like these videos, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when the next month's video is released. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below if you have any comments or ideas on additional data you'd like to see in the report. I'll see you next time.